Let's do a brief review of Boyle's Law. Now Boyle's Law from Regents Chemistry that you learned was this formula right here. P1 V1 is equal to P2 V2 where P represents pressure and V equals volume. The basic idea behind Boyle's Law is that if pressure increases, volume should decrease. Or if pressure decreases, volume should increase. And no matter what you do here, when you multiply these two variables together, you should get some type of constant number. So if you look in your notes, important things to remember. Make sure your units of pressure are the same. Do any conversions of similar units prior to doing the problem. So make sure that everything is in atmospheres, that everything is in millimeters of mercury, that everything is in tor before you go on. Be consistent with your volume units. If you start with liters, then stay with liters. If you start with milliliters, then stay with milliliters. What we want to do right now is look at this FET simulation to see the relationship between pressure and volume. So the first thing that we're going to do is add a certain number of molecules to this gas chamber. And once our pressure settles out, more like 140, 137 atmospheres, we're going to decrease the volume. And if we decrease the volume, we see that our pressure is increasing. So our pressure increases as volume decreases. If we increase the volume, we see that pressure decreases. So as we have more space for our gas molecules, an increase in volume, we see a decrease in pressure. Let's look at an example of a Boyle's Law problem. So P1V1 is our original pressure and our original volume relates to P2V2, which is our new pressure and our new volume. Calculate the volume that will be occupied by 2.1 liters of hydrogen measured at 650 millimeters of mercury when the pressure is changed to 720 millimeters of mercury. So the first thing that I'm going to do is write out my formula. P1V1 is equal to P2V2. I can look at this problem and it says calculate the volume that will be occupied by 2.1 liters. So that 2.1 liters is my V1. So 2.10 liters, that's my V1, measured at 650 millimeters of mercury. So my P1 is 650 millimeters of mercury. When the pressure is changed, to 720 millimeters of mercury. So that means my P2 is going to be 720 millimeters of mercury, and I am solving for V2. So if I multiply together 650 times 2.10, and I divide by 720 millimeters of mercury, my new volume here is going to be 1.90 liters. And that is a brief example of how to do a Boyle's Law problem where temperature and the number of moles of gas are held constant.